thought in the first half we weren't that sharp and we did a nice job of keeping it close by playing hard, being gritty, um, doing things. And we, we, I think it was tied at half. The second half, I felt like we, we played really well. I, I felt like we were outplaying them and did outplay them. Um, we made a couple bad mental mistakes. Um, had it to nine, with about four or five minutes left. Should have salted it away. A couple sloppy plays, um, gave them life. And then at the end, um, obviously we didn't execute on what we said we were going to do. And I'll, I'll take the blame for the loss. I mean, I, I lost my emotions. Um, and didn't call a timeout with four or five seconds when we didn't have an advantage. Um, I quit coaching the last four seconds. That's on me. Um, I can't do that, and I'll take the blame for this game. Uh, you, you have a look. Marcus tries to put one up. Just doesn't fall with about 12 seconds left. Um, what was the feeling at that point and after he missed that shot? Um, when it went down and they had the baseline out of bounds, I mean, we wanted we wanted to switch every screen. And four guys did it and one guy didn't. And the best shooter in the country got a wide open look with six seconds left. Um, that doesn't give me a reason to stop coaching the last four seconds. And I, I will live with that forever. Um, we got to find guys that are, are going to, to listen and execute. Josh is a, a winner. He makes so many plays that make you better. And I know people that aren't in practice every day and aren't around us all the time probably question why he's in there sometimes because some people just look at a box score and there's a lot of games where he doesn't score. He, he only takes one shot. A lot of games he doesn't have that many rebounds. But he makes more winning plays than probably any basketball player I've ever been around. And he can score. The great thing about him is he doesn't care about scoring. And I mean, he can shoot it and I don't know. It was great to see him go in and the next game, if other guys are getting shots, he won't, he's perfectly all right with, with playing without shooting. And those are the guys that are fun to play with and the guys that do the little things and, and compete on all the other plays. And that's what makes him special. We were just playing tech basketball. We were being tough. Um, it's not a, we moved the ball pretty well. I mean, obviously there's a couple in there. Ferris is a good team. Um, we did a better job of getting into the paint, playing off of two feet, making good decisions. Um, we fought for every rebound, fought pretty hard defensively. Um, things that make Michigan Tech good. There's still a couple lapses of mental mistakes and in, in being young, but uh, That's, that's how we got to play all the time. What does it mean for this group to have gone toe to toe with Ferris and have a chance to beat them at the end of this game? I'd, I'm, I'm really not sure. I mean, I feel like we should have won the game. I felt like we played good enough to win the game. I'm sick of talking about young. I'm sick of talking about being inconsistent. We're five and 10. That's what our record is. And we have to start winning these games. And if we feel sorry for ourselves, we're going to get our butts kicked on Saturday. There's no easy ones in the league. And I don't know, it's hard to get them back when you let them go. And I don't know, it's a game. I haven't been a head coach all that long, but I've been around this game for a long time. And that's a game I'll never forget.